What's up everybody? Today we are working on headlight assembly and uh, header bar install. So this is all new to me. I am by no stretch a professional, but um, that's why they made the internet. And we're gonna look at the diagram and all the different photos that I've kept for reassembling all this stuff. Um, just basically uh, putting all back together the way it was. So. I've got all the old pieces. I'll kind of show you what I'm working with here and we'll go from there. All right, well, here are the original parts. Um, this is the original header bar, which you can see is pretty pretty well gone. Um, and then here is the bonding strip. So the way this works real quick, this side is bonded to the bottom uh, underneath the body, right above the headlights. Uh, this bonding strip is riveted, or rather the header bar is riveted uh, with a bunch of these aluminum rivets. These are essentially uh, the same rivets that GM used, right? So I'm going to re, not reuse, but use the same kind of rivets. <clears throat> and then... I'm probably going to um, maybe do some bonding from the bonding strip to the new header piece, just as a precautionary measure, just because I can't help myself. Um, here's the new piece, and it is identical. Um, and the way I plan on installing this is getting the headlight assemblies all together with this uh, rebuild kit right here. And this is just off eBay. Uh, I checked everything out. Everything's pretty legit. These are a little lesser grade bearing than these nicer castings. But these things are toast. Um, I could probably reuse them, but at this rate, that wouldn't be smart, I don't think. So, anyways, rebuild kit. Um, reassemble. These are my replacement housings. I found a guy on the old interweb that had some that were not destroyed. Because my other ones were toast. They had a crack. They're castings. They're aluminum. And after 50 years, they just had seen better days. I think I set one down on the ground and it just broke into two pieces. So the replacement steel ones are like $260 a piece. I found both sets or the entire set for 200 bucks from a buddy on one of uh, the Facebook pages. So anyways, uh, we'll get to work and see if we can't get these things back together. All right, first order of business. Um, this is a uh, linkage in the... Uh, I'm not sure what part, but it's linkage in the headlight assembly. And this is uh, what it should look like. <clears throat> it's, a, it's got an adjusting bolt on it. This one is freed up, can turn freely. This one, on the other hand, no matter what, and I found this out a while ago. This, I've just been waiting to deal with this, but uh, broke off. It's, you know, I got to salvage this. So I'm got to drill and tap and put this new adjuster nut from uh, Corvette Central. Most of these parts are all available. It's just a matter of putting in the work and getting things back the way they're supposed to be. So get this knocked out and then we'll start putting some stuff together. All right, just uh, checking in, making some progress. I ended up blasting everything. So it took me about a half hour or so. I went ahead and just cleaned all of this stuff up. Port rods, let's go from the back, support the frame, general linkage, parts, miscellaneous. This is where I'm at after essentially an hour or so of cleaning up parts, getting acclimated. I've got pictures and stuff, but I didn't do a horribly good job. So all these little bushings, little plastic bushings, um, new cotter pens, all that jazz. Hope you can see it okay. Anyways, relatively, I mean, after I do it once, I'm going to be good, but figuring it out and make sure everything's right is, uh, is going to take some time. So that's where I'm at. I'll touch base here in a minute when I get to, uh, one of these completely done. All right, so I got one completely together, minus obviously the actuator. But all the shims and bushings are in place and all the springs are in place. So there's four springs. They work kind of uh, in unison. And so if I open it, it locks it open. 
And then in order without the actuator, you actually have to pull this up and then it will I'm kind of holding it. But pretty cool little system. Not as complicated as it looks once you get your hands on it. So let's uh, get to the next part, which would be completing the other unit. All right, so I'm gonna see kind of how quick I can actually put these together. I will show you. So here's the original GM bearing, right? Or whatever you wanna call it. Bushing, bearing with bushing, and it's, it's not horribly worn out, but it is pitted from all the uh, just corrosion, right? And then here's the new one. So you can see the difference. One's a stamp piece, the other's a casting with a pushed in race and um, yeah. So I thought about keeping these cause it's, it just looks like a better built product, but honestly, I think these are gonna be fine and they're new. So I don't have to worry about these things going bad for some reason. So I'm gonna use these, Ooh, there you go. Um, new plastic bushings. One of these you gotta cut the length. Two new guides. Four new springs. And then this is the HUD light um, mount kit. We'll save that for later. So. All right, so I got the, the bearing holders in place. What's that? Well, you gotta clean it, man. There's a rag over here. Here. There. Uh oh. You got it? All right. The boss is here. So we gotta mind our P's and Q's. So the bearing holders are in, or these small little bushings, little mounts are in. And then there's a, a small little lock ring. And so what I'm doing is I'm squaring it up or trying to center the lid in the mount, but it is difficult. That's pretty close. All right. And then there's a little Allen key. And the whole goal is to make it to where you can adjust it from underneath. So. All right. So I got them all, both of them done. So this is what it looks like when uh, when they're completely assembled. I mean, not 100%, but as far as the linkage is concerned, it's all it's all done, braced up. So I can install these and mock these up to get good fit in on the header bar, and then I can actually make sure these fit to the body, and I can keep them in until I start doing body work. So that's good. Uh, so the long and short. Um, let me see if I can do this without killing myself. Okay, here we go. So you have to pull, manually pull, but otherwise they lock out. All right, so uh, getting started on the header panel, I'm gonna drill out uh, the header to receive rivets. And I just took some uh, machine screws, self-drilling machine screws, just to uh, lock it in place so I can drill this thing out. So uh, kind of show you what I get uh, when I'm done. So basically took the uh, bonding material, drilled up all these holes, and I'm gonna go ahead and add um, panel bonds. Um, I'll rough these surfaces up and then it'll go pretty quick. I'm not putting it on heavy. I just kind of, for peace of mind, it does hold up, in my opinion, a bit of weight. So I certainly don't want to do this again. So it's just good insurance, I think. I mean, listen, I'm not a professional. It just logically makes sense. So start getting this So I wiped everything down with uh, oil and grease remover, remove, yeah, remover, um, both sides. I went ahead and prep this so I have to do it later. Um, I 
wipe this all down again. But, uh, all right, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna re-fasten this with some of those self-tappers. And then uh, after I put the, the um, adhesive down, and then I'll put it in the vise probably and start going to town on the rivets. I have no idea what you just said. Straightforward. Uh, I think it's three sixteen. Vice grips are helping me quite a bit. And they just kind of keep it compressed. They just a body dolly, that's what I call it at least. And then uh, air hammer <clears throat> with the biggest. Um, uh, I don't know. It's got the biggest crater in this this particular tool. I've got a whole bunch of them, but this is the one that's that gives you the biggest uh, mushroom to push these out. I'll show you what they look like. So essentially, some look a little better. Some look a better look a little better than others, but the long and short of it, um, pretty straightforward. Um, so I'm going to get these all done, and then I'll show you what it looks like when, uh, when I got time to show you. I'll clean all this up. All right, so we're gonna end it off here. I got uh, I got it installed, uh, clamped in place. I've got some other hardware installed. I'll go over that next time. Um, yeah, there's a lot to it. So I'm gonna pick up the, the rest of this with the headlight assembly install and then gluing that header bar in on the next one. So I uh, appreciate you guys watching and thanks for following along and we'll see you on the next one.